Welcome back. My name is Jace Hargis, and this is the next in a series of uh, quick video modules. This is the one that's going to focus on the Scholarship of Teaching and Learning, or SOTL, as you'll see people or hear people abbreviate that. The Scholarship of Teaching and Learning is basically a premise that was pretty much developed in 1990 with Ernest Boyer's Scholarship Reconsidered book out of the Carnegie Foundation, and he basically came up with this idea of looking at teaching and learning in a scholarly way. In a very similar way, it would be discovery, reflection-based, evidence-based. These would be these methods that we use to research effective teaching and learning. It would be peer-reviewed, publicly disseminated. So all of this really is recognizable from any scholar, from any discipline, because it's the way that we do business in the academy. Looking at our teaching and learning in a very systematic way, gathering evidence of what works and what doesn't work is both helpful for us individually, our institution, and ultimately our discipline as, as uh, teachers and learners. There are many types of the scholarship of been teaching and learning. If you haven't dealt with these before, these may, may sound new, but in fact, you're going to integrate them very well, very quickly, because they all have to do with something you've been doing for a while, which is teaching and learning. There's the standard, basically a pre-test, post-test assessment, both qualitative and quantitative. This is simply where you basically figure out where your students are, deploy some sort of treatment, method, interaction, and then figure out where, they, where, they, where they've become. This enables us to look at a very quantitative way of the interplay and the effect that it has on, on the students from our methods. There are other ways. There are basically essays developing some sort of innovative technique. There's a meta-analysis where you grab all the information and put it in one place and it's helpful uh, to your colleagues. You can do some integration from larger frameworks in your curriculum. Uh, there's also studies designed to, to basically explore some of the key issues within your discipline and they all are going to be similar across, uh, across boundaries. And then ultimately there's something that looks at the comparisons of courses from different semesters, two courses in one semester, all of these are really key questions uh, from how we teach and they should be discovered both within your institution and within your discipline. There are many, many peer-reviewed national and international scholarship of teaching and learning journals now, uh, in addition to your own discipline-specific business education, pharmacy education, law education, etc. So what is the value of SOTL at many uh, universities? I've I actually conducted a poll at a couple different universities, and I just want to share with you very briefly some of the responses that I, that I received. Uh, first of all, one response would be something along the line of, well, it's okay if, if you have nothing better to do. Um, another one would be, some people believe that it's important. Others say it's mostly for the humanities. Some say it doesn't count for promotion and tenure. Others say that the faculty value it, but the administration doesn't value it. And you can expect that there are others that say the administration values it and the faculty do not value it. But the bottom line is that it can be good for a variety of reasons, obviously as a supplement to a research agenda and to enhance the way that we teach and learn and become better scholars. Once again, this is a very brief module on scholarship of teaching and learning. I hope that you picked up something, if you will, please. Go ahead and jot down a one-sentence summary of what you might have learned. If you will, share one idea that you might use. And then finally, go ahead and write down the one word that describes how you feel. Thank you once again. I'm Jace Hargis, and look forward to seeing you on the next module.